What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we will look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Alexa Bliss gets married, Scott Hall laid to rest, a top WWE star was told to lose weight, more AEW stars joining WWE and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Now let's hit the intro and get into our first story. Now first story looks at Alexa Bliss gets married. Our top story today relates to some wonderful news for a former WWE Women's Champion. One of the WWE's most popular female stars, Alexa Bliss, tied the knot this weekend. Bliss tied the knot with her longtime significant other, musician Ryan Cabrera. The two got engaged in November of 2020 and finally made it official with a wedding in Palm Desert, California yesterday. A Bliss is the second WWE star to tie the knot this week as Carmella and Corey Graves tied the knot earlier in the week. Now it's unknown how many WWE stars were present at Bliss's wedding, but photos have shown Ember Moon, Braun Strowman and Raquel Rodriguez all being there and it's entirely possible other stars were there too, they just didn't pose for public photos. A Bliss has come to a career crossroads in WWE as she's been openly critical in relation to her booking. Bliss made a return at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view and was one of the most popular stars in the entire match. But despite this, Bliss was left off the WrestleMania card entirely, which made little sense. She continues to be a top merchandise mover for WWE, but even this isn't convincing the WWE creative team to put her on television. But nevertheless, we send our well wishes to the happy couple. Next up, Cody Rhodes' first feud revealed. A Cody Rhodes made his highly anticipated return to WWE programming last week at WrestleMania 38. Rhodes had a fantastic match with Seth Rollins and some fans even called it the best match of the entire weekend. A Cody made it clear that during his promo on Raw that he wants the WWE title. This is something currently held by Roman Reigns. But according to reports, WWE has no plans to rush into a feud between Cody and WWE's tribal chief. In fact, for tomorrow night's edition of Raw, WWE have announced that Cody will take on The Miz in his first match on Raw in six years. Now, this match announcement received some criticism by fans on social media as they stated that it's a rather underwhelming first match for Cody on television. But the match with The Miz isn't supposed to lead to a substantial feud for Cody, it's just an appropriate first match back as The Miz is insanely reliable and a loss to Cody won't hurt his stature. But according to Andrew Zarian of the Mat Men Wrestling Podcast, he speculates that WWE will be continuing the Cody Rhodes vs Seth Rollins feud heading into the next premium live event known as WrestleMania Backlash. The two shook hands on Raw but this doesn't mean that the feud is over. This could be a smart move on behalf of WWE as there's a ton of storyline potential there and Cody having an extended feud with Rollins before finally entering a feud with Roman Reigns may be the most logical way to book things right now. In relation to Reigns, he began a new program with Shinsuke Nakamura on SmackDown. Whilst this is an exciting prospect, fans are struggling to take Nakamura seriously as a legitimate contender to Reigns as he hasn't won a meaningful match in a long time. WWE have a lot of work to do if they want Nakamura to be a believable opponent for the newly crowned unified WWE and Universal Champion. Who would you guys like to see Cody feud with in WWE? Is continuing the Rollins feud good enough? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up some sad news as Scott Hall has been laid to rest. A legendary performer, Scott Hall, passed away on March 14th at the age of 63. Hall was a beloved pro wrestler and he meant a lot to his peers as well as fans across the world. But this past Friday, Hall was laid to rest and there was a number of wrestling personalities in attendance to say their final goodbyes. The names in attendance included Triple H, Shawn Michaels, DDP, Kevin Nash and Shawn Waltman. Also in attendance was Hall's son Cody who shared a touching tribute following the service on his personal Instagram page and the tribute read, We buried my father yesterday and I guess it was the last step in the process but it still feels like I'm going to go through a ton. Being my dad's son wasn't always easy, in fact it used to feel really hard sometimes, he was hard sometimes. But it feels different now, not my burden to bear but my torch to carry on going forward. A legacy from a legend. It feels like he's with me now. The whole world feels different now. It feels so different. Death is part of the circle of life and my father lives through me. A Cody would finish the fitting tribute by thanking his father for everything he's ever done for him. And we at WrestleMania continue to offer our condolences to the family and friends and fans of Scott Hall. Next up, a top WWE star was told to lose weight. 
A former NXT UK champion, Gunther, made his main roster debut this past Friday on SmackDown, but it looks like for now at least Gunther will only be joined by one member of his Imperium stable, that being Ludwig Kaiser, who was formerly known as Marcel Bartel. According to a new report by Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Gunther was informed that if he was going to be called up to the main roster, he was going to have to slim down and lose weight. Meltzer claims that Vince McMahon only wants to see slim people on television, and Meltzer added, They don't have faith in Gunther as a singles guy yet. I think that, you know, he can be a top singles guy, although I think the loss of weight hurts him a lot. I know he was told he listened unlike other people who thought that being big was really good and they were told and they didn't listen and now they're somewhere else, which is Keith Lee. I'm not beating around the bush on that. It's interesting that they're going with them as a tag team and not Gunther as a single, which surprises me greatly, especially because the original plan was separate brands. And then the other one is if they were going to do the tag team, they kind of like aced out Eichner. I think that Bartel and Eichner are the better idea of the team. Yes, it's probably a size thing. Vince wants slim people on television. I could see that from the Vince perspective, telling the guy, hey, drop 30 pounds, right? And I thought what made him special was the idea that he was a 290, 310 pound guy, can fly around and can move, and he hits really hard and it looks like a powerhouse, and now he's just a 6 foot 3 guy. Now, Gunther looks to be in the best shape of his entire career, and hopefully this leads to a substantial push for the Austrian-born WWE superstar. Next up, Curtis Axel returning to WWE. A son of the legendary Kurt Hennig, Curtis Axel may be on his way back to WWE, albeit in a completely different role. This past Friday, Axel had a tryout for a producer role in the company. He worked closely with Tyson Kidd to produce the Liv Morgan vs Sasha Banks match, and the match was well received by fans, so it's entirely possible that Axel rejoins the company in this new role. He was released from WWE in 2020, but he was well liked backstage and would be welcomed back into the company with open arms. But speaking of WWE returns, former WWE 205 Live star Araya Davari may be returning to work for WWE as well. Davari worked with Chris Park, aka Abyss, to produce Drew McIntyre's countout win over Sami Zayn on SmackDown. And finally, more AEW stars jump ship to WWE. Our final story takes a look at a possibility of more AEW stars jumping ship to WWE. Cody Rhodes jumping to WWE from AEW was a move that nobody saw coming, and Cody's return to WWE opens the door for similar moves in the future. According to AEW president Tony Khan, he can't possibly rule out AEW talent deciding to join WWE, but he ultimately puts this down to the quality of the roster they have. While speaking to ESPN's Mark Ramondi, Khan would add, It's not anything unusual to see stars coming from other promotions, including WWE, into AEW. I think it's now a little different to see a star from AEW go on to WWE television. I think as the years go by, we're a young promotion. It was bound to happen sooner or later, and now it has. We have a lot of great wrestlers here. I expect there will probably be down the road interest in some of them because we're putting on such strong shows. I think there's bound to be a free agent movement on both sides of the competition. I think it's great for the wrestlers. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumours you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.